Okay, we're back again. This is uh, another quick episode on some native plants. We're in a shade at the front of the yard and uh, I'll talk again about some native plants. Uh, a lot of people like to plant native plants. Um, uh, there are people are always worried about plants and being invasive, they're not natives. Doesn't mean native plants can't be invasive. And we're gonna talk about one right now. It's a great plant, but this thing can get out of control if you don't watch it. That is the Golden Alexanders. It is also a food source to the black, Eastern Black Swallowtail. But um, I'm gonna take a look at it real quick here. And then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna show you on this side where we ripped them all out because they're trying to take over a butterfly garden. And then we're gonna show you right here in front uh, where we're gonna let them go. Um, nothing really grows under the apple tree. It's kind of good shade. It's, nothing's grown there for years and we're kind of letting these guys go and they make a good ground cover. So this butterfly garden on the side of the driveway, this four years ago was dead ground. And if you see this stump, that was a giant, oh, good cue. <laughs> uh, this stump was a giant Japanese maple. It covered this whole area with shade, so nothing grew under here. After we took it down, this whole thing, all the way up to that fir tree, is a butterfly garden. Uh, in the summer, this is going to be nothing but flowers. Uh, and it's full of milkweed and nectar plants uh, for a number of butterflies. We get a lot of monarch caterpillars in here, but we feed a lot of butterfly species through nectar and uh, hummingbirds as well. So, but uh, this, this morning, I dug out all of these golden alexanders right because this was covered in yellow flowers and what i mean by that is it looked like this these are golden alexanders in a woodland setting they look great but the little guys can't get away from you and we try to control them where possible and then let them roam freely where nothing else grows. And this is underneath an apple tree and they do pretty good here. But I think it's related to a carrot family. As you can see, there's a native bee. It's an early bloomer. This will all go to seed. But there's a native bee and we have bumblebees here early bloomers so bee species there's bees if you look here there are bees all over these flowers pretty much everything has a bee it's a shade lover it goes crazy but will seed uh, like there's no tomorrow <laughs> Um, and it can be a little tough to get rid of. It's, uh, once it gets in there, I believe it's part of the carrot family, as you can see by the flower structure. And it is a little tough to get out. But, you know, if you have, this, you have a spot that nothing grows in its shade, this does great. Again, this is Golden Alexanders. And while it is a food source for the black swallowtails, we actually have never seen a black swallowtail caterpillar on any so we got them all over the place uh, but again you can see the pollinators love them so that's one good thing but uh sometimes you too much of one good thing is well not good so we took these out of the other garden but we let them uh, thrive here just across the path they weren't welcome over there. But this is shady. And the other thing it does, it makes a pretty good ground cover. Keeps the, keeps the uh, moisture down in the ground, as you can see. Kind of a cool plant. Easy to grow. Another native. Makes a great cover. You get uh, toads and salamanders in here. But if the camera doesn't show it. <laughs> there are really a lot of bugs and bees on all these flowers. And it has a, I don't know what kind of smell it 
it is when you cut it. Kind of a carroty smell, I guess. I don't know. But uh, it's a kind of a cool plant. It's just you got to put it in the right spot because it will get away from you. Okay, that's another native plant found in our garden. We'll see you next time.